I think this will be my last Christmas video for the season and it'll be a fairly short one. I just quickly wanted to show you a tablescape idea. We're planning on hosting John's family the day before Christmas and it's a fairly large group so we'll actually have it at our church instead of here. But I'm planning on fixing up the tables and just making them kind of wintry, probably more than Christmas. So if you're looking for an idea for maybe even sometime this winter, if you're hosting people, this might work for you. It won't be anything too fancy, probably just using, you know, naturals from the outside, you know, adding some candles. And then I have a few other things that I want to incorporate into it. So join me as I work on this and enjoy. So I'm normally pretty anti with cutting down trees, but I need some candle holders. And I thought we have plenty of these little trees down here by the pond. I'm going to cut one of them down. And this one even looks kind of dead. It doesn't look the healthiest. So maybe I'm just doing it a favor. I'll tell myself. I'm sure you guys have seen this idea before, basically just cutting you know, various sizes of little logs and then uh, cutting a hole in the top to place a little tea light candle. Just for a different look, I'm going to cut the tops at an angle where the candle will sit in. It's just a little bit tricky for me to drill these holes. Our vise is setting up too high, so I can't really throw my body weight in here to get these holes drilled. So I have a chair that I stand on. I know it looks kind of weird, but uh, it works. I'll probably get John to drill the rest of them then, but for now I just want to drill three of them so I can kind of show you the display. I'm planning on once again using my Norway spruce sprigs for the greenery on the table. I'll be using the snow spray on the greenery. I want that snowy look. Often when I do a tablescape, I like to kind of put all my things together that I know that I'm going to use. Uh, kind of put it together, see how it looks to the eye, and then do I need to add anything? Does it need a little more, you know, sparkle or color? All of these paper products you see are from Amazon. I showed MB the napkins that I'm going to be using, the ones with the greenery on them. And she basically just designed a little name tag to kind of go with that. She did a really good job. She made two different designs. I thought they're both so pretty. Um, these will be available as a digital download on the Etsy shop. Here I'm cutting placemats. I'm using what looks like craft paper, but it's actually gift wrap. Not quite as heavy as craft paper, but that would totally work too for that rustic look. Again here I'm just cutting out four, but next week I'll have to cut out probably over 30 of them. Next week I'll be having two fairly long tables, and I wanted a decent centerpiece for them. And I'll probably put like two tables together to get my width so it'll be a fairly wide table. And I didn't want something that'll look just lost, you know, on the table being that it's kind of big. And I think these glass containers are going to work well. I filled it with water, added some greenery, and this is just fake greenery. Here I'm spraying the top edge with snow spray, but I actually ended up wiping that off later because I'm putting floating candles in here and I thought it kind of blocked the view of the floating candles. And later on, I ended up adding some red berries to this jar too. You're gonna see some changes as I set up this table. Uh, the final pictures are gonna look a little different from what I'm setting up. Sometimes I tweak things here and there.
I'll leave the links for these Amazon paper products down below in the description box. I thought these plates are so pretty. They're just a bit small. I wanted to ask John what he thought about even using them next week. If not, we'll probably just go with plain, uh, you know, plastic plates. And normally, of course, I love to set a table with pretty glassware, but with a large group like this, I know it's just gonna be nicer with uh, just using plastic or disposable. And they're pretty enough. I can always, you know, wash them and use them later on if I choose to. I went out and clipped some dogwood sprigs and then I found some sage, still sort of pretty, in my herb garden. Gonna add that to the silverware and napkins. Uh, gonna keep things really simple, just using jute cord to tie it. I hope you enjoyed this tablescape idea. Thanks for watching. As always, I hope your day is going great and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.